Hello everybody and welcome to this video. If you saw my live stream earlier today, I'm talking about my Santa Anita picks. Actually, um, I have to finish this video in, within 10 minutes because um, we're about to post and my three to two is now, or my three to one is now five to two and I'm just like, Ooh. all right. <clears throat> but what I wanted to show you is um, the new Hank Bradshaw book, and Hankathon is coming, but the new um, Hank Bradshaw book, Dead Dame Curse, it's up on Amazon right now. Link in the description below. Um, but for those of you who aren't into my fiction and are more into my poetry, um, oh wait, no, this side. <clears throat> um, for those of you who like my poetry and aren't really into my fiction, this is uh, June's chapbook. It's called The Coldest Beer in the Desert. Um, and this is kind of um, meaningful for me in a couple ways. One, um, this uh, artwork on the cover was a uh, Lionel print done by my kid when we were living out in the desert. And um, I just thought it came out so good that I really wanted to um, use this on this book. And because it's my kid's birthday this month, and my kid is turning 19 this month, um, there's only 19 copies of this book. <clears throat> so, that is for my kid. Um, the other thing about this book that's different is that um, the cover is a really fine um i think it's 23 or 24 pound um paper so it's um lighter than normal i mean it's a little heavier than printer paper but it feels more um i don't know the word i'm looking for it's not that it almost feels lighter but it's a heavier paper if that makes any sense. So, like, when you look at my, like, chat books like this, like, the cardstock on this is really thick and heavy. This is thinner than that. And, um, again, we have the newsprint pages, so the pages are thinner. In fact, these are the same size book. And you could just see the difference. I don't know if you can see it like that, but maybe like this. Um it's the same page count, but, um, this just feels a lot bigger. This is a lot lighter and easier to hold more flexible on the whole thing. Um, and I will just read, um, my favorite piece out of this. Oh, and just so you know, too, the coldest beer in the desert, this is referring to a shop. It was basically the only store when I lived in the desert. Um, for miles and miles and it took me like it was like thir 12 or 13 miles from my place to get there and it was just this little square in the middle of the desert a little box and that's where I got my food my booze my smokes my water to stay hydrated and not fucking die um, so all the poems in here are loosely related to that place and um, this is um, probably my favorite poem in here. So I'll just read it to you. It's called A Simple Guy. It was 115 out. And that type of heat, saying you're hot is an understatement. You could actually die. I was thirsty and out of beer. Needed to hydrate myself. Got in the car and headed 13 miles or so to the nearest shop. Driving in that heat with the windows down doesn't do anything for you unless you're dripping sweat. Luckily, I was. Because the heat from that wind blasting in does little to refresh. I eventually pulled up to the little desert liquor store that brags having the coldest beer in town. I was about to put that to the test. Although I don't think there was any other place in town that I could have grabbed beer. I was trying to pull my shirt over my sweaty, sticky body when I noticed something strange. Behind the shop is a little dirt road that goes off for miles. 
to some dwellings and God knows what. And on this road, I saw a young man walking towards the shop in that blazing heat. He had on red jogging shorts and a plain white t-shirt, a couple sizes too small. This man wasn't fit by any means, portly I would say. He seemed to have a little bit of a hitch in his get-along. Then as he came closer, I saw that he was barefoot. That sand must have been scorching his feet. I looked down the road at the, and the nearest dwelling had to be over a mile away. He had walked that whole way barefoot in this heat. He would then cup his hand to his ear, talk a bit, then laugh hysterically. He would see stuff on the ground, I don't know what, bugs or rocks. He'd lean over and grab them and shove them in his mouth, chew whatever it was up and eat it. He laughed and laughed. And once he got to the parking lot, it was all hard and sharp gravel. He didn't break stride, he just kept walking his bare feet across the terrain without a flinch. He made it across the lot and he sat on the ground, on the shady side of the shop, smiling and giggling, pulling on his ear. I didn't see a Bluetooth there and went with my gut that this guy was just a little simple. I was so jealous of this guy. Didn't seem to have a care in the world. And most importantly, he seemed happy. Happy, happy, happy. I felt ashamed. I felt awful. This simple guy. He stole something from me. He took my blinders away. Forced me to see what was there all along. He mugged me. He held me at gunpoint. He lifted the veil from my eyes, and I'm pretty sure I didn't even register into this guy's mind. I was just a bird or a butterfly or a car speeding down the highway. Here one second, gone the next. I drove away, leaving him sitting in the shade, smiling, eating his bugs or rocks and talking to his ear, hearing the best jokes around. I, on the other hand, felt miserable knowing that I would never be that happy. So anyway, that's a bit of a little uplifting mumbo-jumbo for you. So yeah, Coldest Beer in the Desert, um, June's chapbook. Um, I'm going to be um, putting this up on my Etsy shop here shortly, and probably by the time this video goes up. And um, for those of you who are on my Patreon, um, you're not going to get this quite yet, but you will be getting other um, digital downloads and stuff of that nature um, here soon. And um, I guess that's it. So if you have any questions about chapbooks or zines or anything like that, I would like to start doing more stuff just like on zines and zine culture and everything like that on here as well. So um, yeah, let me know. Etsy shop, links down below as well. And I will talk to you guys later.